have been monitoring the Nassau group of populations since 2002 in um, Little Cayman and this year we'll be continuing to monitor the group of populations in Little Cayman as well as Cayman Brac and Grand Cayman. Basically what we're doing is inserting these tags, surgically implanting them in the stomachs of Nassau grouper and this basically transmits a unique signal which we're able to pick up with these receivers. We have these receivers anchored on the edge of the wall around Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman. What this does is disables, this allows us to track the movement of our tagged fish. What we're hoping is that the tagged fish will take us back to spawning sites. In Little Cayman we tagged 50 fish back in 2005. In the Brac we've tagged 33 fish. We only have 10 fish tagged so far in Grand Cayman. We're hoping to expand that. Um, this year. In Grand Cayman we haven't actually been able to locate any of the spawning population. They're considerably deeper than the sites in Little Cayman so it's going to be considerably more difficult to get divers in the water. Local dive company um, Dive Tech generously arranged to have a rebreather set donated to us and, and many thanks to Nancy Easterbrook over there for making that happen. What we were able to do is to get considerably deeper in the water than we were previously and it's going to be a lot safer for our divers. They are also able to arrange to have one of our staff trained on how to use the rebreather so they will actually be doing the diving on the sites this year. Part of the problem is too that the groupers tend to spawn closer to sunset so along with it being very deep it's also dark which makes visibility very hard. Traditional methods of diving with um, nitrox or even air only tend to get us down to about 100 to 130 feet and um, what we're finding is the groupers are about at 160 to 200 feet so it's considerably deeper so this is going to be a huge help for us this year. The Nassau grouper is probably one of the most ecologically and commercially important reef fish. It's one of the top predators on the reef and it does help to maintain the balance in the ecosystem. Part of the problem with the Nassau grouper is that it forms these spawning aggregations at predictable times and predictable places. Basically around the, the winter months every year they aggregate in mass to spawn. It's very easy for fishermen to locate these fish and target them and they're very easy to catch when they're spawning. So part of the problem is that for, for decades now ac across the Caribbean, not just Cayman, um, people have been targeting the Nassau groupers when they're spawning and thereby reducing the numbers significantly. So they're actually endangered throughout the Caribbean now on the, on the verge of becoming extinct in some countries because the fishing pressure has been so heavy.